Annie turned around and posted her last assignment for year two last night, guys. Just give you an update, and there she is. She's sitting in front of us. And um, so today, what am I going to be blogging about? I'm going to be blogging about divorce. Yeah, you heard it right. Divorce. It was the third hearing, and uh, it was House Bill. The House Bill, okay. And um, the person that wrote the draft and wrote the presentation was a guy called Langman from Davao do Norte. Senator Langman from Devil Devil do Norte. And uh, he presented it a year ago, presented it six months ago, which is the second hearing. And once you get three hearings and you get three votes. So there was 119 yes, there was 103 no, and there was 20 abstain uh, on the bill. And uh, as of now, there is only one country in the world that uh, divorce is illegal, and that's the Vatican City in Rome. Uh, now it's legal in the Philippines. Now, there are a few things you need to understand about the divorce. Uh, you have to petition a divorce uh, through uh, an attorney or a lawyer to go to court and it has on the divorce it's only it only covers or it only can be brought uh, as a petition on certain areas first area is about abuse uh, the second area is about infidelity and uh, continual uh, harassment and uh, they call it era era uh, what do they call that era you have to and he's saying the word it's it can incur irreconcilable differences irreconcilable. they're all mixed up in there yeah. now the other part of it is that uh, it's also about if you've lived apart for more than five years, okay? Uh, and they're the four items, four areas that they've actually uh, put into the bill. And there might be some more written in, but at the moment, they're the four that are sitting there. Now there is a second part of it, which says that the divorce absolute in the Philippines is also linked to the family code now the family code and I did a video on this a couple of months ago it covers everything about the family about you helping supporting housing medical benefit everything like that now the house that part of the housing cut are the uh, house family code about housing and about all the other stuff is it says that the family code is taken into consideration and on the consideration for the family code for the, uh, the divorce absolute is uh, homosexuality so if you are married husband and wife and your wife wants to become a male then that's not in the eyes of the law that's not correct so that warrants under the family code filing for divorce it's the same with transgender if I want to turn around and become a woman it's the same and he can file for divorce if we were married yeah 
Now, the other thing is, it's if you are a compulsive gambler, can be considered. If you are a drug addict, can be considered. If you are a um, drug user, can be considered. If you are an abuser, a bullier, yeah? If you, there are, under the family code, there are 35 areas that can be considered for divorce. Now, once you've considered all those areas, it comes to a third caveat area, which is about, when you petition for divorce, you then turn around and get a 60 day cooling off period where the judicial system investigates you. A bit like back years ago in the UK, a bit like back in America and stuff like that. You went through that system. What is not covered under uh, the divorce is a cookie divorce, a drive through divorce, an online divorce, and a not notarial divorce. Those four are not included. So you can't go down that route if you think you can get a quickie divorce. And it all has to go through the judicial system. And you have to prove each other, or one person agrees, or one person doesn't agree, whatever. Now, the other thing that I was reading about, uh, and you can see, see about this on the, the Philippine News Agency, PNA, it's done a big, big article about it, it's very, very comprehensive, is that foreigners, if you are married to a Filipina, or a Filipina's married or a foreigner, Filipinas married to a foreigner and living abroad, yeah, and you get divorced in that country, in this country, the Philippines now, that is taken as a legal divorce. You just have to present your documentation from the country you've been divorced to the, the family clinic here, which, is, which holds the rules and regulations for the family code, and they will accept that divorce petition from another country and that will mean that you are freed up to get married in the Philippines legally legally now the other part about it is that and that it, it's called recognizing foreign divorce under the family code uh, so as of the 27th of May it's legal to get divorced. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know how long the petition is. I don't know how long the process is. But what they're saying is that a irre irreversible marriage or a loveless marriage or a Filipina that is in a marriage that is going nowhere can file a petition for divorce okay uh, the quickest one i see will be separation and living apart for five years i think it will it'll be very very similar to the western culture here when the divorce goes to another lawyer the lawyer will make money and start stirring up all these things just to generate more cash income. But if you turn around and you separate, after five years, you can go to the family code, put in your petition for both sides, and the family code will then turn around and um, file your divorce for divorce absolute. I still think it has to go to court to have that judgment by a judge, which will cost you money. But like in the UK, if you don't have a prenuptial agreement and you start haggling over housing and property and children and stuff like that, uh, it, it will just become drawn out. You're not allowed to turn around, if you're a Filipino in a divorce petition, to turn around. Oh, tell them up, queer. You're not allowed to bring harassment, aggression, bullying to your partner, that's your spousal partner, and your wife isn't allowed to do the same to you regarding housing, family, benefits, children. There is none of this holding somebody to ransom 
they call it, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's okay. I think it's there. Uh, so the Philippines was coming into the modern era. Is it right? I don't know. Marriage has a strong value in this country. And there are also marriages in this country that really do not work. And nobody wants to help the wife or the husband to separate. You can get an annulment, yeah, but it's doesn't let somebody get, get on with their life. This petition by Langman and Morse Absolute makes it really clear. Cut right down the middle. Uh, but I like the way it's actually linked into the family code. Because the family code here has a massive, massive value to the way the Filipinos live. So we have a fruit and nut salad. And there's Annie, she's got a mango shake. Notice in her hand, she's already ready with a fork. <laughs> she's hungry. Oh, look at that. Annie just asked me a question. What's better, annulment or divorce? And I've just explained it. I'm gonna to explain to Annie, it's divorce. Annie's got herself a little pork steak there. Look at the size of that, oh my God. Yum, 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 Annie. And it comes with rice. We're waiting for the rice. And a knife. Oh. There's my... Oh, you have rice on your well? I know, look at that. Oh. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Then we're going to enjoy our dinner. You're ready. And he's there. Oh, she's off, 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 off. Oh, very, very nice. Here we go. So there we go. Mango shake, salad, mashed potato, rice, pork steak, and I got pork cutlet. I ordered pork cutlet the other day and they covered it in breadcrumbs and it became so hard to eat. But anyway, bon appetit darling.